Hello and welcome everyone, Laha here, and today I'm reviewing the Logitech G302 Daedalus Prime uh, Gaming MOBA Mouse. That's the box. That's the box gone. Here is the Daedalus Prime, or the G302. Now, I've had a look at a fair few other reviews for this, and seen other sort of player feedback and what they think of using this mouse, and a lot of people are calling this the successor of the incredibly popular Logitech G3. Now, let's have a look at the shape of this mouse. As you can say, see, it's perfectly symmetrical bar for the um, thumb buttons on the left-hand side of the mouse there. You have six programmable buttons, and you have a DPI switching on the fly there. You can actually use this mouse literally plug and play. You don't have to use the Logitech software, but if you download that, then you can change things like lighting effects, um, which is primarily for the logo and the breathing on the side. You can't change the color. That is going to remain blue. Uh, this mouse retails for £39.99 and is definitely in the range of what I would call affordable uh, for those of you looking for a high-performance gaming mouse. So £40, that's pretty reasonable. Does it stand up to the test? Well, Logitech have combined this with a new uh, metal spring coil technology for the buttons, and because this is aimed at a MOBA uh, player or gamer, the buttons you would expect to be incredibly crisp and sharp with the actuation. Now, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but those are some incredibly crisp, sharp um, button clicks. The scroll wheel is actually really solid. It's even it's actually more solid, and I found it to be a better scroll wheel than the G402 Hyperion Fury, which is their gamer FPS mouse that they've uh, recently released and I recently reviewed. You can find that review in the description. Um, the shape of this actually, I've got to admit, wasn't the most comfortable mouse. Probably because I'm not used, um, I'm not that used to its shape um, when I first got it. It's interesting because it juts out almost uncomfortably at the sides. It's actually kind of hard to show you this on the camera, but it's this, this point here. And it will take your hand a little bit of use to get used to it. Um, I often refer to this as the kind of male equivalent of uh, women when they break in new shoes. You're breaking in a new gaming mouse. Obviously I guess guys can break in new shoes as well, but I don't know, you often hear uh, ladies talking about breaking in new heels. Um, I've not really heard guys talking about breaking in new heels. Um, but yes, uh, it's an interesting shape, and at first I really didn't think I'd like it. I thought it felt uncomfortable, and I wasn't going to like it. Then I played about... Hmm, 40 hours of Dota with some friends, and I use this. And I'm not good at Dota, uh, and I'm not going to say that this made me better at Dota, but it didn't make me any worse. Um, really responsive with that left and right mouse button, um, middle mouse button as well, and those thumb uh, buttons as well on the side. It just oozes responsive um, timings with all of its clicks. If you want a really fast, responsive gaming mouse that isn't going to break the bank, then I really don't know what else to say, really, because look no further. Um, I really actually now like the design. At first, as I said, I wasn't sure if I liked the size, it didn't feel that comfortable. Once I got into it, kind of just ignored the feel, settled in. I was going at it like crazy. This can apparently take uh, an impressive 20 million clicks and its tracking sensor can apparently go on for the equivalent of 250 uh, kilometers. So it's going to last you a very long time, even if um, you are a seasoned Dota or League player. Uh, this is really going to last. For other games, I've been using this for Total War, where it is actually useful to have uh, a really precise um, and responsive mouse, obviously panning across the battlefield for Total War very quickly or moving across the campaign map and selecting lots of different units or settlements. Very responsive, didn't let me down. In fact, I even tried FPS gaming with it and it was fine. Um, very good all-rounder, but if, especially if you play a MOBA, then this is the mouse to go for. Now, what I actually spent the majority of my time using this for was putting it in my backpack and taking it away with my gaming laptop. And the reason why I say this is actually, while it maybe it looks actually reasonably large, it's not. It's quite small. Um... And for me, that makes it perfect for a gaming on the go mouse, uh, a laptop gaming mouse. It's really fast, it's really responsive, um, and it doesn't take up much room. Not that many mice do, but if you're not, you don't want to take a big, bulky, 
full-on MMO macro to the hilt mouse with you everywhere you go. You want maybe just a small mouse that you can really take away. Previously, for me, this was the um, Rokat um, Cone Optical, I believe. Uh, I'll put a link to that review in the description. That was kind of my favoured laptop gaming mouse. This has now replaced it by far. Um, it's more responsive. The metal coil on those clicks is just lovely. It, it's, it's really hard to describe how responsive this feels, but I just click it. I mean, even compared to my other gaming mouse, which is over here, which I can't pull because the cable's there, but this is the Logitech G402 Hyperion Fury, even the clicks on this, they just kind of feel a little bit heavier almost. This feels lighter um, and more more satisfying, basically. I really like pressing its buttons. Yep. <laughs> um, so there's really not much else I can show you for this. As I said, this is supported by the Logitech gaming software. I'm not actually going to show it in this review because it covers all the same features that you'll see on most of the other gaming mice. Uh, and that is to control, it's DP you can set up custom DPI profiles, there's four switches of DPI there and um, you can set which one you want that to go to and also you can configure these uh, these thumb buttons there if you want and obviously you can, well, you can reprogram all of it if you want to um, but yeah there's not much um, groundbreaking stuff on there uh, it's just a useful companion to have uh, as I said you can obviously change the lighting effects on there from this slow breathing to a rapid sort of rave lighting beat if you know you want to set up a mini rave maybe if you've got like a hundred of these you could set up like a mini rave lighting thing that'd be kind of cool has anyone ever done that loads of gaming mice with their lighting effects there's yeah, something I should do maybe if Logitech are watching and they want to send me a hundred of these I'll do it um, and then I could do them all give them all away as a giveaway afterwards Logitech hello um, Anyway, back to the review. The scroll wheel, I really like. It's really solid. Everything just kind of feels more finely tuned and more solid than the uh, Logitech G402 Hyperion Fury. That's not to say that's a bad mouse. It's a really good mouse. Go check out the review for that one. But they kind of suit different purposes. This is all about precision and, you know, that really responsive feedback when you make a click or you make a command. Uh, the Hyperion Fury is all about being fast and speedy. Um, not that this isn't but they both serve slightly different audiences. This is for the MOBA. The Hyperion Fury is for the FPS gamer. And there are some subtle differences that you may want to look into for separate gaming mice. But, even if you don't play MOBAs, um, I mean, apart from Dota, I'm not really into any other MOBAs. I play a lot of Total War normally, a bit of uh, FPS, and a bit of RPG. This is a reasonable all-rounder, which is why, again, I recommend it for a good, solid uh, gaming laptop mouse if you want a small mouse that you can pack away, take away on holiday even if you're going to game while you're away, um, or gaming at the grandparents or the girlfriends or something like that. Um, wherever you might want to take your laptop away to, this is useful as well. Also useful even if you're not gaming with the laptop, if you're doing perhaps some Photoshop work and you don't have a tablet, pretty precise and uh, will do the job. And for £40, that's a very reasonable... Uh, pricing for this gaming mouse. It doesn't. It's not uh, cluttered with loads of extra buttons that some people may assume with a MOBA you may want to, you know, set all your abilities to. You really don't need that for this, um, and that would definitely clutter up the design and I think be counterproductive. So I'm going to wrap this review up here. So what am I? What score am I going to give this guy? I'm going to give him a nine out of ten. Uh, purely because, for the most part, there's nothing I can really fault with him. But I always do like to leave um, normally a point for room for improvement um, because nothing's ever that perfect. Um, only one thing that I have picked up, and I actually had to go and have a look at some other reviewers' um, reviews to see what they didn't like because I was struggling for a while. Uh, and it wasn't until I kind of... It was one of those things that you don't notice until you've been told about it. And it is that these buttons, these thumb buttons on the side actually feel a little bit sharp and you may catch your finger on them not that they're going to make you bleed and tear your thumb open I'm not saying that at all um, but I don't know they just they don't feel as smooth as the rest of the mouth which is a nice unibody um, symmetrical design obviously bar those thumb buttons um, but yeah you just might kind of notice oh there's a button there maybe that's intentional maybe it is to make you go oh yeah there's, there's some buttons there um, but yeah uh, only other complaint that I saw um, somebody else pick up was that because it's so symmetrical, obviously bar those thumb buttons why isn't there left-handed support for this mouse? There is no left-handed support, this is purely for righties which actually I can agree with that reviewer, it's kind of a shame that there wasn't maybe 
either the option for buttons over there, or I don't know, maybe. I don't know. Well, you can obviously disable those buttons in the software if you want to. So, kind of would have made sense to make it left hand supported. So, don't know what happened there. But anyway, overall, for the price, this is a great gaming mouse for anyone that's looking for an upgrade from a cheap ten pound one that you got with your PC or that still has a uh, has a ball in it. If you're using one of those, time to upgrade. Um, so yeah, great mouse from Logitech. Speedy, reliable, and really satisfying to click especially if you're into your MOBAs. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please leave a like if you have, and feel free to throw down a comment. Check out the other reviews I've linked to in the description. Cheers again to Logitech for sending, me, uh, sending this over for me to have a look at. Uh, if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all again soon. Ciao for now.